Welcome to the Daily Devo. My name is Jeremy, and today I want to talk about the way of the cross. We have an issue in Western culture where we pursue comfort above all else. When we get home, we can't wait to put on our comfy clothes. We can't wait to eat comfort food. And we can't wait to sit on the couch and be entertained by our TV or other devices. I'm not knocking you if you own one, but I find it hysterical that we created electric bicycles. What was meant to be as a form of exercise, we changed to make it more comfortable. This isn't always bad, but it can create some challenges if you let this bleed into your walk with Jesus. The truth is, we aren't promised comfort. We're actually promised the opposite. In Mark 8, 34 through verse 37, Jesus himself lays out the cost of following him. Let's read that together. The verse says, Then he called the crowd to him, along with his disciples, and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? This is what I call an expectation realignment. Have you ever had one of those? You thought that group cycle class was going to be easy, and then 15 minutes you realized that uh, your expectation was totally wrong. Or maybe it's a hike that you thought was basic, turns out to be very advanced. If you thought the Christian walk was going to be comfortable, Jesus tells us otherwise. I love what it said in verse 34. Jesus said to the crowd and his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. This wasn't directed just to Jesus' closest followers, but to the crowd as well. He didn't hold back. And sometimes following Jesus feels like you might lose everything. But what I have found through the years is that when I've surrendered something to Jesus, in hindsight, I didn't really lose anything at all. We are in this thing for eternity. The things we do and the way we follow him in this short period of time impacts us eternally. That's a weighty thought, and it should be. So many have fallen away from the faith because of offenses or because it was harder than they thought. Let this verse realign your expectations. The truth is, yes, it will cost you something. If it hasn't, you probably aren't sharing your faith with anyone. But here is the good news. When we give our life to Jesus, we get Jesus back. He is the goal and he is the prize. I find that as I live my faith out loud in the world around me, he is with me. His word says his burden is easy and his yoke is light. A yoke is what you would strap an oxen to, to pull a plow or to pull a cart. And Jesus accused the Pharisees of putting heavy burdens on his people. This is about connection to Jesus. This is about denying yourself for the sake of the cross. This is about refusing to be ashamed of Jesus. As a pastor, I, I get this sometimes. I don't want to tell other people what I do. They almost always change instantly. One group hates me, and now I'm going to get a really bad haircut as I'm sitting there, or service from another group. Another group instantly changes and puts on this almost fake Christian personality when they find out I'm a pastor. But I refuse to be ashamed of Jesus no matter what it costs me. I hope you feel the same way. Thanks for joining us today on The Daily Devo.